want to play with you. This robot, nicknamed Russell, is being put to the test by a couple of preschoolers. Lincoln is four. Madeline is three. Look at what I am doing. Both children have autism. Studies show children with autism lack certain social skills important for learning, like the ability to imitate others. You do it. He's nonverbal still. I still have not hardly gotten him to imitate anything. Children with autism spectrum disorders have really early impairments in social interaction and social communication. Children with autism also have an affinity for technology. Children with autism understand physical world much better than the social world. There you go. Uh, with support from the National Science Foundation, mechanical and computer engineer Nilanjan Sarkar and psychologist Zachary Warren at Vanderbilt University are developing a learning environment for kids with autism built around state-of-the-art technologies. So this is a thank you bell. Including this robot. It has some characteristics of human, but it is not complex enough. It doesn't overstimulate or overwhelm a child with autism. Now you copy me. The team outfitted this room with cameras and Connect, a video gaming sensor that tracks and records the child's movements. That information is sent wirelessly to the robot to provide feedback. You were here. Hi. The robot must be able to understand the real-time need of the child, not only how well he or she is performing, but how well he is enjoying the activities. I'll do it again. <laughs> you want to do it again? Okay. Because she can do some imitation of me, but it's exciting to see her transferring that skill to somewhere else. Raise your hands like this. Team members also do exercises with the children. Sarkar yeah. says the kids pay more attention to the robot than the humans. Yeah, he, um, talk about not paying any attention to you at all. <laughs> I mean, he watched the robot the whole time. The forecast predicted sunny weather all day. Sarkar says they are also developing computer games, including one teaching children to read facial expressions, an issue for many with autism. Think about all the learning opportunities that might come from that, right, and how powerful that could be. Eventually, Sarkar sees the day when robots will go home and help kids like Madeline and Lincoln navigate these virtual games, and maybe even help them feel more comfortable in real-life social situations, too. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.